yeah, the, all that stuff happened. The uh, raid, right? The raid was yeah, crazy. Yeah, we had the biggest raid in Orange County history. It's wild. So we got in a fight with these guys, and like, you know, that was just the kind of this, that wasn't the main reason, but they had yeah. been investigating us for over two and a half years. Mm. And uh, they, they were trying to put us as like, go back to the old days of like how my dad had a big, massive following, you know, all these, you know, crazy people. And, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily blame these people. I mean, we had every high power organization, you know, from every organization, gang, mm. every, you know, I used to tell my dad now, I said, it's funny because all our heroes used to be on the feds list. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we were, those are our friends, you know, mm. like we'd have lunch with those guys. Mm. So that, uh, you know, who you are, you know, who you hang around with is who you are pretty much, you know what I mean? Mm. And uh, what you attract, you, you know, what you respect, you, you attract that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so instead of attracting things of good things like seed in heavenly places around people that are living in high places mm -hmm. and that are worshiping in Jesus. We're attracting this crowd where you can come and just be whoever you are. You can still be the same way. And mm -hmm. you know, my dad's going to love you. I mean, there was really no challenge to a man changing. Mm -hmm. And my dad's like, Oh, Jesus will change him. But we more like the, we liked it. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. I mean, if anybody tells you they didn't like that power and that yeah. people were afraid of you when you walked in, I, they're lying. Mm -hmm. And my dad's more story will be like, He'll tell you like, oh, no, I was just serving Jesus at that time because mm. my dad's a great politician. He's a great, <laughs> that's his style, you know? Yeah. He's just, he's just that guy. But he, he knows the truth. We were there and it was just, we were his kids and man, we were just, we, we just got out of control. We treated mm. him like he was, you know, John Gotti, you know what I mean? Mm. He was like the, you know, the, and we knew we were going to heaven. So we were like, we trained our people, which is really sad is mm. when they join our club, we're like, mm. bro, forget a patch or this, you get eternal life. Mm. Oh, Imagine mm. you get to die for the club. Forget mm. a club. You get to die for, you're going to go to heaven, bro. If you mm. put your life on the line for Phil Aguilar, wow. I mean, that's heavy stuff to sell. Yeah, heck yeah. And it was like my dad was telling us to sell that. We were selling that because mm. we, we, we didn't want, we got membership, you know? Yeah. And so we just, yeah, we're out of our minds, got in drama. And then we, did, we didn't know we were being raided. And then they just, the biggest raid in Orange County history, they came at 4 a.m. in the morning and flashback grenades, pop, pop, pop through the windows. And smell it just man just looked like a bomb hit our houses. We had a few wow. houses on the street. Mm -hmm. They had paddy wagons. They had tanks on the yard. They had all my stepkids and my family dragged through the mud. Uh, I mean, it just it was just crazy, man. And I remember just being so angry. Mm -hmm. But at first, I thought it was like the end times. That's how jacked really? I was. I was like, oh, dude, thought that was it. <laughs> like we're here. Like this is what we were. You know, this is what we were like. I mean, I was so out of my mind. Yeah. And it's early. That's where they get you early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a legal raid. You can't even raid at that time in the morning. Just so, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but we didn't. We didn't like that's just one of the things that we weren't even ready for it. And, you know, and they took everything. They took our bikes, our cars. We had, you know, Mercedes and Cadillac. We had nice stuff at that time. Mm. And uh, they just took everything. And they even arrested our little, we had like a little wiener dog. Oh, really? And there's a, there's a, there's like, there's like a, in the Orange County paper, you see the dog pissing on one of the, on the sheriffs, you know, as he's like <laughs> taking the dog. No way. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's an action. But, it, but, uh, but yeah, it was just, dude, it was wild. I mean, Dang. you just, that's when you start going, what the heck yeah. did, where, where, what happened? Wow. You know, because you start telling yourself, bro, that like, we're God's soldiers. We're good. Yeah. We're doing this with the, we're, because we're still helping people. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. We still had homes filled with people. My dad was still talking about Jesus, but mm -hmm. I mean, man, that's, it was, we were so far from where we were supposed to be. So yeah, he did that. And then um, from then on, our lives were changed. I, I mean, I was, that was 15 years ago, I think, like somewhere around there. And yeah. never was the same after that. I mean, it wasn't like we had this radical, you know, um, Saul to Paul moment. It wasn't like that. It mm. was more like, man, like we just lost everything. Mm. We have nothing. Nobody's coming to church because they're scared. Yeah. We have no income. Everybody's, you know, everybody's in trouble. I mean, just, and then you just see again, everybody start leaving. Everybody starts going away. You know, yeah. we just been through so many times and, and it's self inflicted for sure. Mm. We again now are seeing more people leave our life. So remember, the man. more people that leave your life, you just, just think about most people in life only have a certain maybe small church family or even yeah. not even church. Say they just have their relatives. Yeah. If they're Latinos, they got a big family. But yeah. you know what I mean? If, <laughs> say the normal white family. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're smart. They have two little two little white kids and two, you know, and yeah. uh, in Target, they take them to Target. We we take five. <laughs> With a leash. We, yeah, we have, we have With five. Leash, bro. We have five kids in Walmart. You know what I mean? We're running around, stealing stuff. Bro, my grandma told us the time at Kmart, she's like, if you're not in this van, in five minutes, I'm going to leave you. Bro, she literally left us. We're chasing down her van. That's, <laughs> like, awesome. that's how we were raised, man. It's crazy. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, you know, God, I always say, you know, you can run from God, but all you're going to do is get tired. And I just was so tired of running. Mm. And I was never designed to be that guy. Mm. My mind was that I was, you know, I, I was designed to worship. Mm. I was designed to, to, to forgive and, and move past it and teach and love people and sp spread love but man you just we let the sh 
we, if we don't deal with the shock and the drama, I'm telling you, we end up carrying it like the heaviest yeah. suitcase, you know what I mean, you can ever carry in your life. And I remember after that happened, it wasn't like we were happy, but we we knew that it was like the new start of a life. Like mm. everything's taken away. You have no yeah. finances. And you're like, how do you start over from scratch? Yeah, that's crazy. And the house was just terrorized. I mean, they put holes in the ceilings, the walls. I mean, they were looking for like, they were just looking for like, they looked for a lot of stuff and they found nothing, mm. which is crazy because we were gangster and doing some stuff, but we weren't selling drugs or we, they say we had a prostitute ring. Our mm. wives were prostitutes. Really? Yeah. Like they, they took like their jeans back then was true religion. Mm. They, they took all their jeans and wow. all their, and they like, it's like, what? So Crazy. I mean, they, they spent millions of dollars on the case and mm. they got nothing out of it. Wow. I mean, they, we had one guy who went to prison, one of our guys who uh, did the stabbing mm. and uh, he did eight years cause he pleaded out just like, I'm just going to take a deal. Yeah. And uh, they tried to get my dad for like a little souvenir bullet from, um, not to marry farm. Oh, because he's a felon. Yeah, a felon. Yeah, so I yeah. gave him three years for that. Really? Yeah. And, you know, it was just, it was just weird. I mean, it was the NIPD's never liked my dad mm. for decades. I mean, I will say that. Yeah. Uh, we have a documentary coming out soon with Peacock uh, Network. And, oh, really? Um, yeah. It's not That's a Christian cool. one. It's just a straight yeah. secular one. But we are Christians, of course. But, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they actually have, like... <laughs> We have like the FBI agents and everybody on there. We, really? we have FBI, ATF, everybody's on our case. Wow. It wasn't just local or, you know, I mean, was, but you didn't, we didn't know that. Mm. So we started seeing all these wires and these I mean, tap wire. They've been, they've been like film, they've been filming us for years. Wow, and it was crazy. crazy because at the nightclub we had fightings and there were shootings there and the cops never showed up. Wow. So it makes sense. They're waiting for something bigger yeah, yeah, yeah. and they got it. You know what I mean? And wow. That's why you just can't you can't you can't even touch it, man. You can't dabble. We're we're supposed to be in this world, but not of this world. Mm. And we just became everything that we weren't. Well, that ain't us. Yeah. But pride, ego, you know, dis, they disrespected me. I'm an mm -hmm. Aguilar. Nobody's gonna talk about us. And you know, you just we were just running. So by the time that happened, um, I had moved to Virginia because I couldn't stay there no more in Orange yeah. County because I was either gonna kill somebody or I was gonna get killed or I was gonna go to prison. And that's just the facts. And You're they, telling a story that you were ready on your way to go handle some business. I was on my way to yeah. Me and and my the dude partner, told you he wasn't even a Christian. You said no. He was a straight up like a South Sider, South Sider, like a real the real deal, bro. The guy who you know does most of his life does most of his life in prison. Mm. Me, him, and my brother in law, um, we were going to literally end the dude's life who caused this problem. I felt to my mm. family and started all this because it wasn't like we were looking for the drama with that club. Yeah, it just happened that way. You know what I mean? But this guy was a big. I felt he was a big runner. You know, he stirred up a lot. Yeah. So we were literally on our way. We were literally minutes down the road. And this dude who's not even, I mean, we we, we baptized this guy. Just see how crazy we were. Really? We baptized him. He comes out of the water and he goes, he goes, he talked like this. He goes, now he's, he looked like a Joe Pesci, like a Mexican Joe <laughs> Pesci, bro. But high up there in the food chain in that wow. world. You know, he goes, you know, now when I come and hang around you guys, I only carry 145 and not 245. You know, I'm like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like, it, I mean, he was That's literally crazy. that type of guy when I would drive with him, he'd be like, mm. hey bro, don't don't come in my car, bro. Go in the other car. Mm. Cause uh, if I get pulled over, I'm doming that. I'm doming that cop. And I'm like, what? You're like, I mean, we were gangster. This dude yeah. was like real gangster, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, and so he literally, like I said, he stopped the car and says, hey, what are you guys about? Mm. Checked you. You about Jesus? You about this? Because he's like, one thing that's respected about you guys, you guys never like look for, because we didn't want looking for trouble. Let's yeah. like not say we weren't around acting. We didn't, we, we didn't like bullies. Yeah. That was our problem. If somebody's being a bully to somebody, we would say, hey, don't bully them. Or if mm. you're talking, pushing Christians around, we're not the Christians you're going to push around. Mm. Right? That, mm. that was us. And we were just tired again of the same cheesy Christian bike clubs who like, you know, um, that they wear the Jesus patch and they, they're, but they want to act like they want to go to the runs of these other outlaw clubs mm. and they act like that's okay. Mm. And we don't, we don't, we didn't do that stuff. We, we were who we were, we were, but like they go pay their, um, 20 bucks, $30 to those runs, the bike runs, the yeah, Christians yeah, yeah. and it's okay. Yeah. But if we hang around with the, with the club, we're all of a sudden like we're affiliated. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah, we're yeah, not, sure. we're just like, but it's okay for them to do it because, well, we're wearing a Jesus patch. So mm. we, we didn't want to be affiliated with the Christian bike clubs either because mm. most of them were cheesy. And my dad mm. started the Christian bike clubs all the way back in the days. Mm. And we watched them too rip, you know, like I said, most people are like vampires, bro. Mm. They can't stand to look at themselves in the mirror and they're always biting off somebody else. Ooh. And that's usually what's happened with us. So we get, mm. we get frustrated. Like, dude, mm. we started that. Or when I think about people writing broken songs, I'm like, man, I was writing songs about brokenness and worship 20 years ago. Mm. But, you know, it's just, we, there, people are just a little late to the game. Yeah. So, yeah, for me, it was just like, uh, I just end up, um, you know, 
end up just we're on our way to the, to this guy's tattoo shop and I was like I'm gonna end it I don't care if I go to jail blah blah and I didn't care and if anybody knew me back then they knew I was about that life I don't have to brag about it I don't have to I was a nice dude but I would put I would definitely put, be the first to put in work you know yeah because I felt like it was protecting the family mm. and um and I mean just so out of my mind because there's no Jesus there so yeah. when there's no Jesus there's no peace mm. and um we turned the car around and we from that day on I never looked back and